guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to part uh, three of my Toro lawn tractor LX460 Repower. As you know from previous two episodes, got the engine on here, runs well. You have to figure out why it doesn't move forward, but it does move backwards. It's kind of hinky. When you step on the gas pedal, makes these clicking sounds, rubbing noises, not rubbing noises, but click, 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 click. And I think it has something to do with the variable speed double stack pulley in the rear. What happens is the middle part of that double stack pulley, it's three layers, right? The middle part moves in between the drive belt and the other drive belt. So there's two drive belts in the back that control the belt from the front of the engine to the back, and then also turns the, uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but there's two different belt systems in the back for the transmission. It's very complicated. Uh, it's MTD's idea of a hydrostatic transmission is what it is. Anyway, a common problem is that middle pulley gets seized onto the bearing and it doesn't move up and down. I think that's my problem is that it doesn't move up and down. Uh, so it keeps the speed at, at one uh, speed. Uh, what else do you notice here? That's right. We've got a valve cover gasket leak, which is no surprise because this is one of the most common problems on a Kohler Courage because Kohler uses a cork gasket for this V-shaped valve cover and it's infamous for leaking. It leaks so much that oil is leaking out. One of the causes of uh, engines blowing very frequently on these um, engines. And uh, well, it looks like I wanna address this before I do anything else. This was the reason why I started up the engine yesterday and it was smoking because I couldn't understand why every time I tried to start it, it would smoke a little bit and burn off the oil on the top. Leaking. I mean, look, technically I could just tighten the bolts and stuff like this on the valve cover and it probably would fix it, but for how long, you know what I mean? Not to mention the fact that because this engine is a 20 horsepower, uh, it's supposed to be a 20 horsepower on this uh, tractor, but this cover says 19. I think I might have a cover that says 20 on it. So this will give me a good excuse to remove it. And because you have to remove this cover to get access. I guess you could kind of slip it through there, but I want to remove the cover anyway to change it. So the town is supposed to come and sweep my streets. Got all my cars in the driveway. It's been like four days. They still haven't come yet, you know? In the meantime, I can't get this tractor out of the garage. I think they're going to start sweeping in a couple of days, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to remove the valve cover now. We're just going to scrape the old uh, gasket off, the cork one, and just make a, make one out of RTV silicone. That ought to work just fine. Look at that oil, lots of oil there. I'm gonna go in the backyard and uh, go look for a cover that says 20 on it. Look at this gasket. I don't know, maybe 
Maybe I should go in the back and find a another head that has a good gasket on it and reinforce the top and the bottom with some silicone. That ought to work pretty well. Maybe I should do that. So I might go and get some heads. So looking at this valve cover, right? Look at the surface of this. You look at it that way. Because you tighten the bolts too tight, it actually bumps up here. So it's not completely flat. It's actually bumped upwards like that. Lumps, which doesn't give it a flat surface for it to mount correctly. As you can see, this is like bumped up over here. That's one of the reasons why it's causing it too. I might just replace this uh, valve cover with another one that's flat and that would probably cure the problem, you know. So I'm going to go grab a couple of heads, use those instead. So I got my other two heads out, right? And if you look at these valve covers, right, they defer a little bit from these. This actually has a lip that goes down so that it, there's less likelihood of it to leak. See how this is? There's no lip here. This is just smooth like that. Here, there's like a lip that comes out that way that holds the gasket in place. So I'm going to use one of these instead, for sure. Two of them, actually. Also, one of them had a good gasket. And dry, too, which means that it, well, dry on the other side, which means that it didn't leak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up this gasket, both sides, right? And put silicone on the outside of this and on the inside of it. Clean up one of these valve covers and use this instead. That'll work. So I wasn't able to find a 20 horsepower, got a 19, but at least this one doesn't have the Cub Cadet stickers here, you know what I mean? So I'll just put this one on. Uh, you saw me put on the uh, gasket along with uh, both sides, uh, silicone on, on each side of the gasket. That should be good. Uh, tightened up, tightened them down pretty good. I think this will be all right. Let's put this uh, cover back on. Fits like a glove. I'm going to take the uh, machine off the stands, the, the rear jack, because um, I want to put it on its side and check out that um, Vara drive pulley, the double stack. I want to get a couple of clamps and put it on there and clamp it down to see if it moves. Because if it doesn't move easily, that's my problem. 
I have to remove the Vara drive pulley, the double stack pulley, and uh, take it out and loosen it up. Either that or replace it. But I have to first see if the middle part moves up and down. So this is all set. But before we do all that, I'm gonna take the jack off. Jack off. <laughs> jack up the front because I just, I remembered that um, the front wheels here, when you put them on, when you inflate them fully, this part here touches the tire. I think maybe the stock tires are bigger and higher or thinner, you know? But they were Dunsky, so I had to throw them out. So I'm gonna cut this part off. So as you saw, I removed the rear wheel, put the tractor on its side, and I simply loosened these two half inch bolts right here, right? And the entire um, Vara drive pulley came off. And it was really easy to remove. Uh, it's kind of hard to get the belt off of the keeper, but as I was loosening the keeper, I can see, you can see the middle part here, the belt is holding it in place, of course, but it is free moving. So it is not this problem. I was hoping it was this problem because that would explain why, you know, the transmission doesn't move forward, right? But it does work and it's free moving. So this is not the problem. So now I gotta go figure out what the hell the problem is. It could be that this tranny's busted, <laughs> which would mean I'm in a a whole bigger mess because um, I don't have another one of these transmissions for the uh, Vara drive, you know? So, that's another story. Let's see what kind of transmission this is. <laughs> this is the transmission, 618-04133A. What that means, I have no idea. But I'm gonna put this back because there's nothing wrong with it. Well, I don't know, fellas. Uh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Don't know why. Don't know why. But start it up and we'll see.
Okay, so guess what? Uh, I think I figured it out. I think I know what's wrong. And it's not good. <laughs> I'm convinced now that the forward gears of the transmission are stripped. I could just feel it. The <laughs> when you have it in uh, going forward, it feels like the gears are grinding, just grinding. <laughs> And then it may catch a little bit that's left and it'll pivot forward. And that's what Nick me meant when it, it's bucking forward like that. And uh, reverse gear works just great, just fine. But I think the forward gears are stripped in the transmission. So you know how I know that I'm concluding that that's the problem? So look, neutral, right? One wheel is on the ground, okay? Neutral, backwards, forwards. Revert, uh, let's go forward. Forward, ready? See that? Gears are just rubbing, that's the noise. You wanna go that way, it's okay, right? But this way, click, 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 click. Like gears are rubbing out. Reverse, can't move it. Either way, which means the gears are good, see? Neutral, forward. Neutral, reverse. Forward. What's your conclusion? So, after all that work, getting the tractor, putting on an end, building an engine, <laughs> fixing the engine, replacing the cams, putting it on, getting it to run great, fabricating a muffler, <laughs> after all that, Grinding the two things so that the wheels don't rub. Transmissions. Can you believe that? So I guess I got no choice now. Just gonna have to wait for a transmission, you know? That sucks. Fix the valve cover leak too. But, uh, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes, you know. What's the reason why, you know. You figure out what the, reasons, uh, what the reason is and there it is. That's the reason. Uh, I don't believe I have another Vara drive type transmission. I'll go look, but I doubt it. Uh, anyway, what are you going to do, right? Leave in the comments what you guys think uh, could be wrong or what I should do. I mean, it, the transmission doesn't look like it's all that crazy enough to remove and put it back. You know, the, it's just linkages and maybe four to six bolts that hold the transmission onto the frame. You know, it's not tremendously complicated. As you saw that Vara drive double pulley system there was two half inch bolts that go in there really kind of flimsy if you ask me anyway thanks all for joining me on today's fail episode we'll see you guys next time on mowers and blowers see you guys next time on mowers and blowers hey if you guys enjoyed the video remember to give me a like also, comment below, subscribe, remember it doesn't cost anything to subscribe, it's free, right? Also, hit that little bell, that way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers, really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.